Hi, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Morning Fame My Niche tool that just came out. It's still in prototype, but I would just like to just discuss it real quick and why I think it's really amazing for small channels like myself, especially on YouTube. All right, so first of all, this is the tool right here. This is what it looks like when you go into the prototype and you have to sign up for you know experimental features. But uh, it's nicely organized right here, your inner circle, your middle circle, your outer circle. And then right off the bat, they had ad-related channels, and it's 35 listed right here. And you click on it, and then it'll show you uh, 35 channels that are very, very similar to yours, and it'll have like a percentage match to what, what you have. So this is maybe like 30, 40% match between myself and this channel. And then you know you, you can you can continue. Oops, let me let me go on and basically keep adding and adding and adding. Now, what does this do? Why is this good? First of all, let me show you the old way of how you would find your competition, your competitors' channel. That would be to go on YouTube and let's say I'm digital no, digital digital nomad, right? So I type that in, and then I, I filter for channels. Let's go down to channels, and then from here I have to <laughs> I have to scroll all the way down and shift through like what what channels are around uh, my subscriber range, right? This is too little, okay, and uh, I have to basically filter out. Oh, this is this is somewhere around my range, all right? But then I have to check it out to see if it if it's similar to mine, then add it in, and then keep doing it, what, rinse and repeat do that again and again and again until I have a list. That's very time consuming. With this, it's all compiled for you, which is very nice. And then second thing is why, uh, I know some of you might be asking, why would you want to have um, a competitor's channel that's very similar to your, your topic and your, your niche range and your subscriber base? And I'm going to tell you why. The reason why you want someone around your subscriber base is because, number one, it's kind of like predicting the future. They have content that's similar to yours, and if it's trending, then if you create something that's better than that or a different angle than that, then you can come up with uh, very, very uh, trending topics quite easily. And what most people do, however, is they, they find, okay, the, the person with one million views on, on a topic of, of, your, of their niche, and then they try to copy the same keywords, and they wonder why they can't rank for them. It's because they're whales. It's because they have an email list, a huge subscriber base, uh, years and years and years of, of traffic and experience and, and micro skills that they had to learn. And, you know, that, that's how they got there. And if you're going to follow that, if you're going to if you're going to do that, then you're most likely going to fail. So that's why you should instead follow someone that's slightly, you know, better than where you want to be. For example, when I was at zero subscribers, I would follow someone within one to three thousand subscribers. Now that I have three thousand subscribers, I follow someone where you know about eleven to fifteen thousand subscribers until I reach that point, and then I keep moving the mark. And this this helps me to do two things that are very important within your channel. One come up with trending ideas with idea come up with with ideas or content content ideas that will get traffic that's the very 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 important thing okay instead of me scratching my head and having to do this and this and this I use my competition who already created their channel and I use um, other AIs to let me know uh, whether or not it's trending or not and then I, I make my own spin on it I put my own spin my own angle and then I, um, a lot of my videos rank this is everything I, I i tell you is everything i do okay so that's that's why that's the number one thing is coming up with ideas that can attract traffic number two the other thing that you really want to know your competition is because you want to know what kind of techniques are out there maybe what kind of thumbnails they're using maybe what kind of what, what's happening within this the space so it's it's very good to to kind of have um, someone you know within within your field uh, kind of like let you know like what, what's there so you, you don't have to um, you know you, you're basically on top of your niche All right so but the main thing is to come up with ideas video ideas and to also be current within your niche now, those, those are the two most important things and that's why this tool is a wonderful tool so I'm just going to go through 
certain steps. I haven't added anything in the middle circle and outer circle. And what does that is uh, inner circle is, is channels kind of very similar to mine, maybe seventy percent or so. Then the middle circle is it's like maybe fifty percent, and the outer circle is maybe like thirty thirty percent. Okay, and this way you you kind of have a wide um, range of of uh, channels that can you can collect you know ideas from and if you can't find anything from the inner circle maybe you go to the middle circle and the outer circle and not just find the inner circle that's very similar to your channel you you find channels that are similar to your competitors channels and so on and so forth and uh, that way you have much more information and with this tool it's very helpful now uh, i haven't gone that far yet so you know i i haven't uh, explored it yet the things uh, within this tool is still like uh, like i said earlier is prototype so it's not quite you know set in stone yet let me just <laughs> let me just uh be very clear with that so let me show you how it works a quick uh, quick demo so you add related channel i um it, it has one channel right here it says it's about 40 percent match um yeah i cover some of this i don't come i don't cover this i don't cover that hey i'd say yeah 30 to 40, you know, 40 percent match. What I add to my niche? Let's see what the most popular videos are. It's mainly PowerPoint. Um, you got a little bit of Word. I, 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 I maybe I'll, I'll add it. You know, if I don't like it, I can always take it out. And then you you can add you can change where like how far it is. So I'm gonna add him into the uh, maybe outer circle. Oops. Let's see. Can I change? Let's see. Add a, okay. I guess. I guess it's. <laughs> I guess they automatically pick for me. I'm not quite sure how that works. Um, this one right here is. Let's see. It's about a forty percent match to mine. So let me see what they have. Yeah, some of these videos. Yeah, they got a lot of AIs stuff. So I'll add this channel. Okay. Add to my niche. All right, continue. Now, as you can see, each of these channels, it will give you a kind of like a percentage of how much similarity this channel is to this channel, it's 60%, to this channel is 30%, to my channel is 20%. Um, yeah, I'd say it's, it's very similar. I add to my niche. All right, let me continue. And and you get the idea, okay? And it gives you an x-ray. Right, this is another one. So this is a 50% match to this one, 20% match to this one. And uh, you can look at the most popular videos. Uh, this is more like make money. <laughs> uh, this is this is not quite my, my niche, so I'm going to ignore it. All right, then you have another one. All right, so and as you're built, let me go back real quick. And as you're building these up, let me see if I can adjust this. No, hmm. Add related channels, manage niches. Let, let me see if I can adjust where where they are. So I can remove from my niche, but I can't seem to adjust the the niche. Kind of like the hierarchy. I'm not exactly sure how that <laughs> how that works exactly, but I'll have to look it up. Let me see. Click click a channel to see its. Let's see. Oh, okay. So you have a little diagram going on. Um, I I, th I still think it's helpful. Ultimately, for me, I, I just compile a list of you know. I don't really organize it to this level, but it's nice to have a chart like this. And uh, I, I think it's very helpful, like I said, to generating uh, content for your videos. So you can draw in a lot of traffic and you can also stay current within your niche instead of going into the old school method and having to <laughs> type in your keyword and then you know scroll down and do it that way. So I highly recommend any of you who are starting out to go ahead and try Morning Fame. It's a very, it, it's, I would say it's almost a must have tool when it comes down to small channels because 
Uh, yeah, there are other keyword research tools out there, but this one is specifically designed for small channels like mine and, and like anyone who else who's starting out. And it definitely lets you know, it, it does like tools like this is just like hand tailored, hand tailored for uh, small channels. And the reason why is because uh, a small channel like mine, I have to really figure out what's my niche, what's going on, what, what, what I can shoot for, uh, what is way above my pay grade that I, I, can't, I can't rank for. And uh, that's why this tool is, is great for small channel users. Now, if you're a whale and if you have a couple million, <laughs> like a million subscribers, you don't really need. To, I, I don't think, in my opinion, you don't need a tool like this because you can rank for almost any keyword you you plop down. You have enough juice, you have enough subscribers, you have enough um, power to to basically rank for many keywords. So th this is very, this is not really necessary, right? But if you're a small channel uh, user. Uh, or just starting out on YouTube, this is a tool for you. And you can always start uh, try for free. And uh, I'll also leave another video in which I show you a special technique that I learned that got me two ex an extra month um, for the keyword research tool because the, that's essentially the the heart of this. Uh, this is this is kind of a icing. This is really good, but the Morning Fame keyword research tool is is, uh, is basically the the engine that makes things this thing amazing. And I talk about that in another video. I'll leave a link down below for those of you who are interested. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.